time to update those icon scanners guys the icon scanner has a really good update coming up following the drop of the uh icon true fix don't sleep on this guys this is actually really really good even if you don't have an icon scanner that price is unbelievable for uh what you're getting which is basically going to be like your uh identifix all data your 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 michelins and stuff like that mitchell's online you know i use all data a lot um and i'm typically paying per vehicle because i'm definitely not paying four or five hundred bucks a month because i'm just doing this as diy but uh yeah this stuff oh, that's leopard stuff let's get leopard off the screen and let's go to all data while we're uh there we go stuff like this so you're trying to work on something it's gonna be hard to work on anything especially electrical components without uh wiring diagrams same is true for a camper so what's pretty cool about it is that it's instead of just popping up in the browser which this is going to be used for a browser you can use this on your computer or wherever you don't have to just use this um you don't have to have an icon scanner that's why i say it's just like all data or anything else but all data and all those guys is great but um, it doesn't integrate into my scanner. They now, hopefully, guys, and this is a big hope, hopefully it will automatically populate the uh, query so you don't have to make so much of a search query because it's gonna automatically take you to that part for that vehicle for that code. And I just finished updating the uh, system software and this is what it looks like now. So this is why they, you got that new system software update, which is pretty cool. This is kind of why I wanted the, um, the Snap-on Triton, um, what is it, a V10 or whatever, is because they had the wiring diagrams integrated in with the scanner. And that was like a big thing when I'm working on something, I get a code for, you know, a fuel pump and then I can automatically bring up the connector, the views, the wiring, you know, what my voltages should be here and there. That's super helpful when all that's on the scanner. And here you have it. So now you have the true fix you know, and, and it's going to bounce you to a browser if you just want to use it. You know, it's just bouncing you to a browser. Like I said, you don't have to have a scanner to use this. And you're going to be signing in through your icon, um, your Harbor Freight account, right? So you're, you're going to be using your Harbor Freight account to, uh, to sign into this, which I don't even remember the password for. I'll have to look that up at Apple. I'm glad I have... Uh, I use Apple devices that save all my... I, password so I'm, I'm glad uh, I have that so this is just like the standalone right if, if you just want to have it as a standalone but like I said what I like about it they're uh, comparing it to the motor true speed repair but they're also they're actually using motor <laughs> motors uh providing them with the data Feeling the details uh -oh. For this all data, typically I just add a car when I'm working on a car and I got to deal with a, uh, something difficult like electrical and I need the schematics. I uh, I just go ahead and buy it for that vehicle because it's easier than trying to find free information. Uh, a lot of times free information isn't good. Uh, it's not always true because you got YouTube and you got a lot of free information. It's free for you. It wasn't free for the guy who provided it. Uh, so as you can see, um, 20 bucks a month, you know, so per car, per vehicle. <laughs> and I've bought this a lot of times for a lot of vehicles. So uh, those $20 add up 
and I will easily spend the three hundred dollars in month and with this uh this this uh true fix from uh harbor freight this is gonna be more of a uh, all inclusive you know all cars makes and models i don't have to just pay twenty dollars every time for each car for each month you got 10 different cars that you work on well you just spent 200 bucks and i've done that so i'm definitely gonna jump on tax that. okay now a couple things you guys want to know you have to have a harbor freight login you have to have an account and it has to be associated with whatever phone number you use. So every time you go to Harbor Freight to buy something, they ask you, what's that phone number? And then they phone number, it's attached to your name. Uh, that should be, uh, and you have an email address associated when you created that account. Every time you buy something, you get a receipt from, uh, Harbor Freight, so the account I use, let's see. So, you know, you'll you'll be getting it. So there's a subscription that I bought and everything. And so what I'm saying is like, you gotta do this stuff because that's how they associate the account. The, um, what do you want to call it? What are they calling it? It's uh, the uh, the OEM repair info subscription, the true fix. Okay, so it's not like Autel or something where you just get a card with a number on it. You go to the website, you plug in your magic number. It knows that that's a valid subscription code and you redeem the code. There's no code redemption. There's nothing on this receipt that gives you any code like when you buy this out of the store the only thing you get is a receipt saying you spent three hundred dollars there's no uh <laughs> there, there there's nothing else on it you know what i'm saying so like i bought the thing i had my scanner with me it was in the truck and uh, i got the email right away in the store you know the emails come in you know you, and then what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. Because the thing, it, it didn't it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Well, because um, they say it takes up to an hour for it to, uh, to process. So, you know, take your money immediately. It's going to take it up to an hour before you can get to it. So when I go on my scanner and I go to subscriptions nothing it says uh you don't have any subscriptions uh, now they got to start telling people this or it's gonna piss a lot of people off because typically if you go to add minutes to your phone if you have a prepaid phone or you go to buy any other type of subscription for a scanner and you redeem the code it's available immediately oh there it is just came through so now I can hang up. Okay. So, took a little more than an hour. Okay, that's fine. Okay, guys. So, now let's access TrueFix. And then, like I said, it bounces you over to motor. And uh, I like that you can use a VIN number to uh, get into the vehicle. Uh, I gotta do some work on my Hummer, so we'll use that, 2008. neutral safety switch all right it's showing us the location um, looking for more so of a wire diagram hey 
right, guys, here we go. In the Hummer. As I know, it should be some codes in this one. I don't think I'd find any codes in the 2023. So let's see how integrated this is. Uh, we got the four speed automatic, the up level radio. We're connected to the internet. And uh, we'll do a code scan. I'm sure I'll find something. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, had to do this kind of over. My dad came up, talked to him for a while. So, But the only code that came up, which keeps coming up, so I know it's a real problem. I'm going to have to actually do some uh, electrical work running down the wiring on this because I've already changed the switch. Is this uh, P520 00, which is being described as the oil pressure switch circuit you know so it's actually it's saying the circuit so i've already replaced the switch and it's it's having a problem with the circuit and as you could see uh with that update true fix is now an option so you got web search you got report you got code assist and you got true fix so let's hit code assist and then here we go select code and this is because I did this under module, so it's a little different than all code scan. All right, so here we go. So as you can see, they fixed the code assist. It's been um, a lot more consistent lately with actually having data in it. When I first got the scanner, it, it didn't have anything in it. So uh, it gives the potential causes. As you can see here, the connector could be damaged. Got a problem with your ground, which Grounds are a big thing, guys, especially you do a lot of, if you're running into electrical stuff, check your grounds. That's a uh, number one cause of uh, bad connections, uh, components and stuff like that. Um, especially in an RV, it's going to be um, poor grounds. And then the sensor could have failed or the sensor circuit has a problem. All right. So those are the potential causes. So that's what happens when you hit the code assist. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out is because, I'll go ahead and start the truck because it's, it's warm in here. Um, the reason I'm pointing this out, guys, is because I wanna show you the difference between an integrated feature and a non-integrated feature, okay? So, this is what I would call an integrated feature. It's actually integrated into the Icon T8 application software itself. It's not redirecting me to a different application to get the information. And if I want to print, I could go here and I can print. Now, this is a nice thing about the Icon versus my Altels because you can see my printer up there. The, uh, the all tells it's very hard to print a uh, report. You gotta go through a bunch of hassle, um, at least on the ones that I have. Uh, their software for that part is not good. So let's back up. Now we're back at it. Okay, so non-integrated web search. This is, this is non-integrated. It's really, uh, I guess this would be half and half. So I'm still inside the application. So this is really not a good, uh, example of a totally non-integrated but as you can see within the application there is the potential for a browser and it puts you onto a browser but you're still within the application but the application has a built-in uh, little small browser which lets you go into here and if you want it to um, go to this video well I got I, I guess the links don't work. That would be an issue with the browser, okay? So uh, let's back up out of that. Now, when we come to the true fix, it's not integrated. They advertise it as if it's integrated, but it's not integrated because this is what happens. It redirects you to a totally different application now i'm on google chrome's web browser 
okay? I'm actually no longer within the Icon T8 diagnostic software. If I hit the open applications buttons, you will see that I am totally outside of the system. I was hoping to get an integrated experience and doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, this is something they need to fix and they need to make this integrated. They need to figure out a way to do that. Um, otherwise, like I said, it's, it's useless to use this from your scanner. You might as well just use this like your all data as a standalone application that you use on the computer. So he says, welcome back because I, I stay signed in on this device. I'm already signed in. You can see that I have an active subscription and expires August, 2025. And if I want to access Truefix, I have to do it outside the scanner software, which sucks, which is not good um, because of this right here. If it was integrated like the code assist, I wouldn't have to go through and enter all this over. You should already know because I'm already in a diagnostic application. I've already put in the VIN number. I've already told you what the code is. And if it was integrated, it'd be like this code assist. Okay, here it is. You know I'm dealing with a 2008 Hummer. You know what my VIN number is. You know what my engine is. You know what the code is. That's integrated. But this true fix that they're selling now and their videos make it seem like it's integrated. But as you can see, it's not integrated. Now I have to put in a VIN number. Um, so I gotta put my VIN number in. I went ahead and typed it in. And now you are on a web server, which is motor because like I said, they, they're using motor. And um, and basically this is how they show it to you on the uh, commercials. They just show that red line. They don't show that like, hey bro, you're, uh, they make it seem like you're still within the app. Well, you're not, you're just, you're, you're in the web browser. You're on Google Chrome or, or whatever you're using. For your web browser on your scanner so now i gotta i had to put the vin number in to, to find the truck and that's fine for standalone software that i'm using on my computer but when you sell it as if it's integrated into the software like snap-ons is it's fully integrated that's uh it's a little bit of false advertising so now i want to find the oil pressure switch and I want to get some wire diagrams and stuff. Well, I'm not going to get it. And I'm going to use one that I've shown you before, the wiper pump. Or actually, it's the washer pump. Well, let's see if it can pick it up. See if it can figure it out for me. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay, so when you get the wiring diagrams, they're not interactive, all right? They're the OE wiring diagrams. And this can help you figure a lot of stuff out. You know, you don't have to have interactive diagrams and every single diagram on all data is not going to have an interactive options. A lot of them do, but I don't think any of these will because it's all OE. So like motor does have interactive diagrams, but for this product that they put together for Harbor Freight at that price point, you're not going to get the bells and whistles guys. But you know, because it's running on the T8 tablet, it's still easy to print the stuff out. But like I said, there's really no benefit 
unless you're just like in a jam and you don't have a computer and you know you just want to look up the stuff on the tablet while you're working on the car but when i'm looking at wiring diagrams i want to be on a computer where the screen is bigger and i can have multiple windows open i can have this diagram and then i can go grab the next one and the next one and the next one so um that's going to be the limitations on this guys is uh you're just getting the generic wiring diagrams it's not going to be as robust they don't show as many components um, on the diagrams as the all data does um, if you remember the video that i did on that it, it had a lot more components and data and a more intricate breakdown of the schematic in the uh, all data so that's what we got guys um It's good for what it is, man. It, it's not gonna be like your all data or your um, whatever it is that those other ones, the uh, Mitchell one, I hadn't really used that. Really, I, I only use all data. So I don't know what those other guys look like, but it's, it's a little different from that and it's not integrated like the code assist. If they were to make this to where the true fix was integrated like the code assist, this scanner would be like, extremely valuable and it would be way more usable and way more competitive than a lot of other scanners you know snap one has that stuff integrated but that scanner is also ten thousand dollars so you know so if they're able to pull off which is just some software they they could do it it's, it's just going to be some coding and stuff to where they can um they're going to have to map motors servers and have that map integrated into here to where these queries when you look at this code and you hit that touch screen and you hit this button that it's automatically the code behind the scenes is doing a search query on that on motor servers and coming back with the best options all inside of the gui for the actual diagnostic software that would be bomb you know, if it was as they actually advertise it, it was that it'll actually be awesome. And then I would say that, oh yeah, this is better than my Altel scanner because my Altel scanner doesn't do anything like that. So, uh, you know, so there it is, guys. Um, Icon's new subscription, three hundred dollars per year for Truefix. Okay. Mm -hmm.